Well, 8 million people viewed the match last night, semi-finals night. I'm sure we're going to match it or better it this evening. It's a monster final between the best two players in the world, Raneem El Walili up against Noor El Shabini, the reigning world champion. Steady start though from both. If you look yeah. at the movement and the body language, they're, they're looking steady, they're looking solid. They are, that is a good sign. I think one of the reasons that we haven't seen one of those sort of epic long matches between these two is because they're both quite similar and that they really like to sort of impose their game and sort of dominate from the front. And I think that, you know, being able to, to play defensively and to just dig in when you're mm. against someone who... who, who Great shot. Warrior Princess striking back. She needs to re-establish herself in those back corners. Oh, that's a vicious boast. She really held at the top of the swing and then ripped it round the wall. It's just been an out and out attack from Shabini in these last... All out attack again from Shabini. And she's done it, nice hold. First blow struck by the Warrior Princess here. Oh, what an exchange between the two. Shabini going for that cross court drop. Didn't reckon on the response from El Walili. Shabina will be hoping that she can get on one of those unplayable roles. You know where she's just unstoppable with her squash. Yeah, let's see if this is the start of one. First loose shot, really. That oh, joke skills. Oh, we're Lily on fire here. A loose cross court, but still a pretty good finish. <laughs> Eight game balls for Walili. Sabini's just <coughs> ripped that ball into the tin. Gone for it immediately off the return serve. I think she'd given up the ghost in that game. Well, this is tough. Well, Walili having to do the splits, really tough rally. Great movement again from Shabini. She was so quick onto the drop shot on the front forehand. Oh. Yeah, brilliant. That is brilliant from the world champion. Leaping high, great control on that drop shot. I'll take it when it happens. What a shot. Really good on that kill. Doesn't miss this kill very often, Shabini. Princess. say about this shot. I mean, there has been the odd on forced error. It's all Shabini this rally. Well, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant rally from Noel Shabini. It's a brilliant game from the Warrior Princess. Well, Shabini's rocking here slightly. She's feeling the effects of that rally. Can't blame her. The shots are just free flowing. Yeah, it's a great shot. Again, stopping the movement of Shabini. I feel that Shabini just needs to regroup here slightly. She is feeling it.
And again, she's taken the sting out of the legs of Shabini here, which means that that simple push drop shot, I mean, it's looking one-sided, and you would think that an 11-1 game or, or a game this clear wouldn't have been that exciting, but that moment and that rally was just unbelievable squash. And that is what's done the damage in that game. Well, it's tough movements immediately. Shabini didn't want that. She wanted a quick exchange. Instead, she got a tough exchange in the front. Oh, what <laughs> a reaction, Bolly. How good is that from Shabini? Again, it's just that sharpness that you normally see from Shabini isn't quite there. This tournament, Shabini has been getting those shots consistent world. And then especially Shabini, you know, winning the World Championship. It's that extra match. Oh, it's beautiful. What a shot from Ranim Awalili. The crowd are starting to really get behind the enigma. Seven, three. Oh, she's missed another backhand. It's unfortunate for Nora Shabini, but it's Rene Melwalili, who is the CIB Black Ball Open champion of 2019. Definitely the best match I've seen between these two. High quality squash, some unbelievable winners, some unbelievable rallies. 3 2 to the world number one, Rene Melwalili, beating the current reigning world champion. Noel Shabini, three games to two in 53 exhilarating minutes.